SJ, are you telling me you've been playing since Destio Montana? <laughs> I can't believe- this is still recording. You think I have shame? You think I don't hate this? That's the main event of November 2020 in my brain. Welcome back everyone to those who just clicked right now because this was a newer video. No, go back, go back. This is the, the second part. The first part is um literally the video behind this but i'll i'll put the i'll put the link in the card just so you, just in case you need it this is a game show so if you guys want to know what the context is go back to the first part to the viewers who are coming in here from part one welcome back welcome back our current score tally right now is for Subaru and the travelers we have a whopping four out of eight for munchstat we have seven out of eight and for Diva, we have still just two out of eight. We'll see how Gap does um, as the game progresses. Let's see if Gap gets um, more correct answers than not. Back to the game show. So our next character, um, just from this, you can guess who our next character is. Um, once the cunning and powerful warlord uh, Morax, the Geo Archon, the prime of the Adepti, the god of wealth and commerce, Jolie now lives a <laughs> mundane human life where he talks people's ears off and frequently forgets his wallet at home. He's kind of broke. You know what, but I respect the drip. <laughs> so, since you brought up the drip, just buy the drip. What <laughs> other form does he have? A deer. Just from that? I can see it, I can see it. But no, it's a dragon. Oh, a very, oh wait, because he hoards wealth. Yeah. <laughs> a very traditional Chinese serpentine dragon with the big whiskers and everything. Oh. Yeah, that form is called the Exuvia and is the form he threw off from the heavens when he fake wreck slaps his death. <laughs> yeah, he threw his own big dragon body from the heavens just to fake his own death. He has, Me? yeah, he has many other forms, one of which is a woman, by the way, but the Exuvia and gender Old Man Jolie. Yes, all of, all of the Archons, I think, are gender fluid. <laughs> they can take any form they like, including maybe the Adepti, too. The Exuvia and Old Man Jolie are the only ones you will encounter in the game as, like, forms of Jolie. Is his vision fake, like Venti's was? Wait, his, uh, his vision is on his butt. I can't show it to you. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's behind him. It's on his butt. I don't think so. Why would you put your version on your ass? <laughs> yeah, it's fake. It's fake. Why is it on his ass? Um, Venti's is fake because he's a wind spirit. Jolie's is fake. Mm. I don't know why. No one knows why actually. It's just on his ass. It is on his ass. He likes it there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like not even the dragon isn't even his real form. It's just cited as one of his many forms. So like so, so he could be an eldritch horror. Yeah, he could be an eldritch horror. Just look at him. <laughs> mm -hmm. Does he work at a funeral parlor? What's his day job? <laughs> if he's if he's retired from being a from a god, like you know, <laughs> what's his day job? Isn't he like um a tradesman? That, um... <laughs> You'd think that would that would make sense if he just started being a merchant instead because he's a god of commerce. Yeah. No, but it- okay, I think yes. I could see him doing a little, you know. <laughs> Funerary style. Yes, he does work at the Wong Chang Funeral Parlor as a consultant. <laughs> so he gets paid to talk people's ears off, basically. This is the most infamous, but arguably oh the best funeral parlor in all of Liyue. Um I say this technically because Jolie has never worked a day in his human Sona life. This this man. <laughs> you want to redeem? Yeah. Okay. Let's try. So, does Jolie, the former Geo Archon, god of the stove, god of commerce, god of wealth, and progenitor of the only form of currency in this game, have money? Does he have no. money? <laughs> Good. No. In terms of Mora, we have no Mora. Oh my God. He is broke constantly <laughs> oh, he forgets him. his wallet at home because he doesn't have anything to pay <laughs> oh my god <laughs> his alleged wallet is child who um <laughs> works at a bank so it kind of tracks i guess now we have ganyu famous as the secretary of the liyue chising which is the governing body of liyue here comes yet another dutiful adeptus <laughs> she oh is god. known to keep the chising running and 
is known to many to run herself ragged, kind of. <laughs> She's oh no! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she, uh, Just like you! Yeah, she kind of overworks. Despite her peaceful nature, Ganyu served well and fiercely under Rex Lapis during the Archon War. Our first question here is, and I will remind you, Adepti don't need to be beasts. They can be just immortal humans. Is Ganyu human? She has horns. <laughs> she calls that a headdress, apparently. I haven't seen any actual voice lines oh, from so Ganyu. She, so I guess she's a human. I'm. She calls that a headdress. No, she's not. She is part Chili, which is a mythical beast that is known for being so peaceful they won't even harm the littlest of creatures. She's half nice. human. Yeah, she's she's she has that whole like um tragic backstory of like not being able to connect to people because she's half this and then not being able to connect oh. to Adepti because she's half that. <laughs> so just from looking at Ganyu right now, is she older than Xiao? Yes. <laughs> That's a good guess. What's here's the thing. The this is this always happens. The people who look younger mm -hmm. are usually older. <laughs> And Xiao is like the manlet. Yeah, she is older than Xiao, but Xiao is her mentor. So Xiao is over 2,000 years old. Ganyu signed on with, uh, with Morax because they are contractual a thousand years before he did. So um, yeah, <laughs> she's considerably older. Some people say she's around 3,000 years old, but I'm not okay. sure about that. Zhongli, I think, is around 6,000 years old. It's <laughs> He's an old man! He's, a, he's an old, old man. He's really old. <laughs> he's really old and he has no money? Yes! Well, okay. Here's the thing, right? He's a broke old man. This is something I forgot to tell you. Mostly because it's somewhat connected. Gods shouldn't have visions. Mostly mm -hmm. because they can't control the elements by themselves. Usually they use their gnosis, which is a signifier that was given to them when they won their right as being an archon. Um, this this little gnosis, I've mentioned this before, I called them MacGuffins because they, <laughs> they have <laughs> never represented anything in the game apart from being stolen by the Fatui. When Zhongli had his gnosis, he could actually make his own mora. So, oh, yeah, before he retired, he didn't have money problems. He didn't carry a wallet because he could just make the Mora. Oh. Yeah, um, it's actually a meme in the game where Paimon asks him, Then, did you at least set some private funds aside for yourself? And then he was like, Hmm. This does seem like a good logical common sense idea. <sighs> it's a shame. What's a shame? It's a shame that I didn't think of it at the time. <laughs> He, he doesn't know the concept of saving? No, he does not know how it works. Sometimes he'll just go around Leo Harbor and say, like, he, he'll just say shit like, I'll buy all of them. How? <laughs> Someone needs to escort Zongli, that old man. Zongli retail therapy. Yeah. Oh my god, wait, wait. He's an old man. Mm -hmm. He likes shopping. Mm -hmm. I bet he's addicted to the home shopping channel. Oh my god. Oh my god. Good thing this isn't listen, in a modern age. Listen, my grandma used to be addicted to the home shopping channel oh. and things would just randomly arrive. She had called them on the phone to, to order the things. Oh my god. I, I will, will have, have order. order now has a different connotation. <laughs> Our next got you question before we get any more sidetracked by Jung Lee. <laughs> what weapon does she use? I feel like she uses a bow. Why? For practical reasons, her sleeves are mm. her her sleeves are good for bow work because her, her elbow is exposed. I don't know. Hmm. I mean, yeah, you're you're right, but that's just a really nice <laughs> justification. There. She is, <laughs> yeah, she's a bow user. She's one of the strongest no, bow users in the game. No, because like if you have like the sleeve thing, it's like the arm guard on a bow, mm. so it wouldn't hurt if she draws the bow, yeah. and like her elbow huh. shoulder area is free. I never noticed that. Like all of the bow, like the archers in this game have like gloves and like sleeves sometimes. Yeah, because it's it, it it's a bitch if you like get like stung by like the recoil of the string, mm. like it, it it hurts. You want to redeem? <laughs> sure. Does Ganyu eat flowers? Yes. <laughs> what, what made you guess that? <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just a vibe that I look at her. I'm like, if I offered her a flower and said, oh, Do you she'd eat, eat it. This? She does 
does. She does eat flowers. <laughs> She's vegetarian. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There's just there's a vibe. I feel like if I'm like, hey, I dare you to eat this flower. She would do it with no one. You don't. You don't even need to dare her. She will literally eat it. Um, the the running joke in the fandom is that she's part goat, actually. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say the horns too. I'm like, he's got the horns. <laughs> but yeah, she's a vegetarian because like Chilean are known to be like peaceful, so you know, no killing. <laughs> that broke me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> our next, Yay! Our next character is Hu Tao, the seventy seventh director of the Wakshang Funeral Parlor. That's right. This is Zhongli's boss. Mm -hmm. um, she took over from her grandfather, a close friend of Zhongli's. Um, we're not entirely sure if she knows that Zhongli's like the nation's archon. <laughs> oh dear. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> so given our Liyue characters so far, um, Zhongli, Xiao, Ganyu, is Hu Tao human? Yes. What made you get that? name. What? <laughs> I, I don't know one that makes sense in my brain. <laughs> I got oh That's her oh. first name. That's her first. It's Tao. My god. My answer is still the same. Uh, yeah. I mean, you're right, but like at what cost? <laughs> my brain cells? <laughs> Good god. I can't breathe. Wait. <laughs> Talino nyo, talino nyo, witty witty. Oh my god. Does Jung Lee like his boss? No, I think he's a grumpy old man. <laughs> that is so rude. <laughs> what? He's a proper gentleman, that guy. <laughs> is he? <laughs> sort he sort of? <laughs> he says he forgets his wallet because he doesn't He doesn't do money. it deliberately. He has some savings. He works. <laughs> I think he doesn't like it. Why? I think it's because she's younger than him. <laughs> the seniority rule, gano. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, you're right, but like, again, at what cost? Why are you getting all the Hu Tao answers correctly? <laughs> it fits because she's the meme character. Jung Lee doesn't like his boss. It's a complicated question, according to him, but the short answer is no. He doesn't hate her. But he does like he uh -huh. he is like really really annoyed at her. <laughs> but because he likes a stable income, you know, just grin and bear it. You know, we've all been their king. Hu Tao is like one of the memeiest characters in this game because like um there's there's a zombie character in this game. Um, her name is Chi Chi, and um mm -hmm. sometimes she chases Chi Chi around just to try and bury her. Help. Yeah, she's one of those people. <laughs> she does know. By the way, that he's not mortal because he's a, um, according to her, um, the idea of Zhongli just like as a person, he's just such a crusty, dusty, musty man <laughs> <laughs> that she just absolutely just like, okay, you're, she's like, you're not this normal. This man is too, too much of an old man to be just a normal old man. All right. So we're done with the Liyue, um, Liyue category, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, that is one hell of a closer. So our next character is another Pyro character. He, this one's from Inazuma. The chief retainer of the Kamisato clan. He's well known around the port city of Rito. He is good friends with his charge Kamisato Ayaka. I, I know you've seen this guy before. Um, and stomachs the pranks of her brother Ayato. If it get a long sweater were a person, it would be him. Uh, oh. <laughs> there is a 90% oh, yeah. likelihood that he knit the damn thing himself. <laughs> this is Toma. He is from other horn guy. The other horn guy. <laughs> Was the first one got you or what? Yeah. Okay, okay. So, I know you know that I have told you this before, but is Toma actually from Inazuma? No. He doesn't have the. Um... My brain is not working. <laughs> What matters? No. Just to show you, like, the other characters from this region, like, do you think she's from here? That's... No! Like, yeah, exactly. I was like... All of them, like, don't there... look like they're from Japan or something. <laughs> so it's just, like, it's just hard to base that off of appearances. But no, he is not from Nezuma. Um, He was born and raised also, also, in Munstad. His, his color scheme does not match. Mm. Why? Mm, okay. There's more purples in the other ones. 
I think that's just because I chose them. <laughs> oh! <laughs> that was what I'm thinking about. No, like, I know Yoimiya. I, I know you've seen Yoimiya before. Yoimiya is like pure orange. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, he, he grew up in Munchtat and he just like went to Inazuma like looking for his dad. And then he never got back to much. Oh, so, so so he has daddy issues. Sort of. He never found him, but he did get a sweet gig. So <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people actually ship him with Diluc for some reason. I've not seen that. I I've I've been through so many rare ship picks. It's concerning. Has he ever defied a god? Yes. <laughs> Remembering the 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 spear throw, iconic spear yes. throw. <laughs> this this is the lady he threw a spear at. Oh <laughs> my god! And yes, it's her. Ladies and gentlemen, her. The ruling leader and archon of Inazuma. While A meditates in her headspace inside Muso Ishin, the shogun makes sure that the country is running and to maintain eternity A wants. Yes, they are two separate entities. One is a puppet, the other is a god. The very um, okay. complicated thing very, right there. Very Robbie and Rex before he's a god. So our first question is, does the Shogun have a sweet tooth? Yes, maybe, yes. No. A oh. does. A has a sweet tooth. The Shogun does not. Is that confusing? Oh. The, the, Why does the- The puppet doesn't the puppet? like food. Um, she oh. says that if it, like, if it's not nutritional, then it's garbage. <laughs> Hell? Yeah. <laughs> the body gotta take care of itself. If A wants sweets, she has to get out. What weapon does A wield? Oh, she should have tried magic out here. Oh, right, when you were put into the plane of Yathania that one time. I think <clears throat> she has a giant sword. She has a sword. No. She wields no. a polearm. A spear, a giant spear. Wait, you didn't- did you mention a spear? No, you didn't. I- I- I forgot, probably. Then we'll know- yeah, we'll I know that one to... out. We'll know that okay. one out. Does she have a vision? Uh... This one right here. <laughs> I think that's it? No, that's not- that's not it. I think- I think yes. I mean, compared to Zhongli and Venti? Cause I, I remember like she had some weird magic thingy. Mm-hmm. I'm saying yes. I don't know what, but I feel like my gut feeling says yes. Um, uh, it's a no. She does not have one. Oh. Um, Jung Li and Venti use fake visions, right? Because they're pretending to be people. They're pretending to be human. Yeah. A doesn't She's need not. that. She's not pretending. <laughs> I see. She doesn't even use her gnosis. Um, her gnosis is with Yaimiko. She rules over a nation without a gnosis. She, she doesn't need it. She's just that overpowered. It's unknown whether or not this is because she's just, she's just like that. Yeah, she's just like she's just built different. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's because she's not the original, like Archon, mm. and she's pretending to be her sister. Is a a fraternal or identical twin? Um, if she's pretending to be her sister, I think identical. Yes, she is an identical twin. She took Makoto's place since Makoto's death, and um, not a oh. single person. In Inazuma no knows that she was a replacement. Oh god, yeah. it's like Avril Lavigne. They only know of one Electro Archon. <laughs> just like Avril Lavigne. Sorry, that just processed in my head right now. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck are you talking about? <laughs> no, no, because you know, like, that's the- Oh my <laughs> the god. Theory. Yes, I know about that's the theory. Like just like Avril <laughs> Oh god, that fucked me up. So this next guy, I think you've seen him before. I've talked to you, talked to you about this guy. Um, the fierce and proud leader of the Arataki gang. Ito is usually... Ito is usually found... That's a bull. <laughs> Ito is usually oh, found in the streets of Hanamizaka, playing games with children or scouring the countryside for Onikabuto. Oh, it's the one with the cow! Oh, sorry, it's a bull. <laughs> He's... Also a regular inside the Tenryo Commission police station. <laughs> God only knows how many times this man has been ar arrested. The himbo of Genshin Impact. <laughs> Arataki Ito. Can he sing? Mm, I don't think so. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why, do you... Why do you say that? I'm... <laughs> With such certainty too. <laughs> Sheesh. I... 
I I'm I'm looking at him and I feel like he has a lot of enthusiasm. But I don't think he can say. <laughs> the spirit is there, <laughs> but not the talent. <laughs> no, I I just think he he looks like someone who's very enthusiastic. I don't think he can sing well, but I think he tries. <laughs> He can sing. He can oh, sing. Oh, he can sing. I'm sorry. Yes, okay. this has been canonically proven. Ito has, quote, It's a pretty good set of pipes. End quote. <laughs> In the English dub, he is also a very phenomenal beatboxer. In the Chinese dub... Oh, okay. Yeah, in the Chinese dub, his opera skills are just to die for, I swear. <laughs> he sings you a happy oh, birthday, and it's actually really good. I can probably pull oh, it nice. up right now. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> He's going for it. Chinese Ito is so iconic, but in English he just like goes for it. Happy birthday oh to my. you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear traveler. Happy birthday to you. I love him. Okay, that's great. I love the enthusiasm <laughs> with the beatboxing. <laughs> Most iconic person ever. What weapon does he wield? I feel like it might be a bow? Really? <laughs> Sorry. No, wait. I'm just remembering the fact that he throws the cow. It's just so funny to me. <laughs> no, that's a long-range weapon, actually. <laughs> the cow is a long-range weapon. Okay, maybe a sword. The the little one or the big one? Little one. The little one. He wields a claymore, the big one. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, I keep underestimating him. <laughs> he swings a sword about as big as his friend Shinobu. <laughs> it's kind of awesome. Oh. I'm sorry, I keep underestimating him, which is how I know he's a true himbo. <laughs> Alright, so our redemption question, because you need it. What is his cow's name? Oh sh! Wait, wait. Just think about it. Give me like a second, because I know I know <laughs> okay. his cow's name. <laughs> <laughs> you can be general about this. Wait, isn't would it be stupid if his cow's name is Cow? <laughs> it would be. It would be very stupid. <laughs> is it named Cow? <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> wait, it's not. No, no, no. It's. Does it start with a U? Yes. But you can be very general, you can use his nickname, um, if you remember the name. Right, so this is where the rest of the video would be if Gab's audio didn't corrupt on both of our sides. So um, that's on us. <laughs> Partially also mostly on me. Um, instead of like putting y'all through the excruciating experience of listening to me have a one-sided conversation or one-sided game show at least it's like talking to a ghost i went ahead and edited out all of the incorrect answers that gab got is she an extrovert does she seem like she can walk on water does Kali like the academia what sort of animal hybrid characteristics does he have? Does he seem like he'd mansplain something to you? And um, despite the seemingly winning battle here, Gab still needed to do the redemption round. This, this is just one question. You need to answer one question about this guy. If you get this wrong, you are like, you lose, you lose. A creation of Raiden A. Kunikazushi was first made as a test to see if A could make a sentient vessel in the first place. He was made to, no to host Makoto's Gnosis. Uh, for whatever reason, he shed tears upon his creation. A deemed him too gentle for the task due to that. She sealed his powers and let him live a life he wanted. He decided to take that chance to uh, join the Russian CIA. <laughs> That is my Blarbo, you are correct. Based on what I've told you about the elements and the national ideals and like the whole philosophies and everything, what element do you think he wields? 10, 15. Wow, you got more right answers than wrong. You won Gab Guesses Genshin. <laughs> so once again, I would like everyone to congratulate Gab for winning the game show. Um, I actually made people congratulate her on the night of her incredible winning streak. 
<laughs> but um y'all didn't know what the context was behind that i hope everyone enjoyed watching that i actually enjoyed making both the game show and editing this so special thanks to gab's friend marx and our mutual friend stess for coming along oh my gosh it's morning sorry i was i'm recording this at like 4 a.m <laughs> anyway um yeah special thanks to marx and stess for coming along on this live just so we can have an audience i'm glad y'all enjoyed that um if you'd like to support me specifically i do have a kofi gab also has a kofi if you want to support gab our podcast also has a kofi if you also want to support our kofi like you know but yeah um thanks for coming along on this weird ride of a game show and um suffering through me info dumping about Genshin Impact. I never talked to anyone about Genshin Impact. It's kind of <laughs> the one off was the video that I made about Genshin and also this upcoming video where I talk about how no, I'll I'll let y'all experience that. One. <laughs> I don't know which outro to do. That's so troubling. Okay, stay safe. Ingat ayon lahat. Bye! And then what was the outro for- Oh my god, I'm a fake fan, I say it, um, as the person who works on this fucking podcast. <laughs>